A senior State Department official on Thursday expressed optimism that the denuclearization of North Korea could be achieved during President Donald Trump's first term, despite the lack of progress during the recent Hanoi summit and expert assertions to the contrary. We still believe that this is all achievable within the president's first term, and that's the timetable we're working on," the official said. We have discussed extensively the outlines of the calendar that allow us to do that, and it is doable. The official said they are pushing very hard with our North Korean interlocutors their goal of denuclearization within the first term. The ultimate driver to this is not going to be the amount of days it takes, it's going to be the degree to which we can satisfactorily achieve the steps which we feel are necessary to the final, fully verified denuclearization of North Korea," they said. The official statements come in the wake of a failed summit last month between Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. The meeting failed to make any progress toward the US's gold, resulting instead in what Trump has come to call the walk. The official maintained Thursday that both sides left on very good terms but conceded that we're not as far along as we'd like to be. Experts, however, have said it could take up to 10 or 15 years for North Korea to completely denuclearize, given how technical the process is. They see the Trump administration as having expressed lofty goals. For technical reasons, there is a lot that could be done to reduce the military threat or the military utility of that program, but there is also no way that you could actually eliminate all of North Korea's nuclear program because that would require verification, Siegfried Hecker, a professor at Stanford University and a former director of the Los Alamos Weapons Laboratory in New Mexico, explained to CNN. How do we know they do not have nuclear weapons in a tunnel somewhere? We will never know that," Hecker said. There would have to be a verification protocol that is simply technically not possible in the two-year time frame. Beyond the technical side of the denuclearization process, developing a deal will also take time and political patience. Last week, after the summit in Vietnam, a State Department official said the U.S. and North Korea are now in discussions about things we really want to be discussing. But the official admitted that the two countries still do not have the same basic definition of denuclearization.